Now to the latest on the coronavirus fight and Maryland's road to recovery. Governor Larry Hogan will speak in about five hours as the number of people hospitalized rose for a second straight day. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live with the latest developments. Mike. Lynn, in the past two days, we have seen 59 more people hospitalized throughout the state and 53 more deaths reported just today alone. But there are some bright spots ahead of the governor's announcement. Governor Hogan closed the state in stages, and the reopening process will also be gradual. Many believe he will begin to relax more restrictions as he did two weeks ago when retail was allowed to reopen. A lot of it depends on how everyone treats this first phase. If everybody goes crazy and does things that are unsafe, we're going to balloon back up and slow down the process. If everybody uh, responds responsibly, we'll be able to move forward, uh, you know, quicker. The governor allowed local jurisdictions to set their own pace, and they did. Those with a higher number of cases and deaths stayed largely shut, including Baltimore City, which remains under a stay-at-home order, but just today allowed curbside pickup sales for all businesses. The surrounding counties are doing curbside for their retail businesses, and it's putting our uh, business at a disadvantage. Many believe the governor will allow outdoor dining to begin with limits, providing a lifeline to struggling restaurants. And on Friday, Howard County will allow outdoor religious services and all retail and barber shops and hair salons to open at 50% capacity. Our goal is to reopen in a safe and effective way that provides enough safeguards to hopefully continue flattening the curve. Any phased reopening is dependent on certain conditions, among them more testing, which is now available to the asymptomatic and at some pharmacies, contact tracing, which has been expanded, and hospitalizations going down or being stable. They rose again today. Several parts of Maryland, though, are seeing encouraging signs. Over the past week, we saw a slight drop in the Baltimore City positivity rate from 21 percent to 17.5 percent. And the Howard County Fire Chief said a few weeks ago they were responding to as many as 30 calls a day for people who were symptomatic. That has now dropped to around 11 calls a day. Also, Governor Larry Hogan announced this morning that Six Flags America will open Friday only as a testing site. You don't have to have an appointment or a doctor's note, and you don't need to have symptoms. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Today at 5, Governor Hogan will hold that press conference updating Maryland's roadmap to recovery. We will carry it live right here on WJZ at 5 o'clock.